brief candle. <laughs> Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. <laughs> and all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out! Brief candle! <laughs> Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. <laughs> it is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Hello, I'm Siren, and I'm a digital human. I was created by an international team of artists and engineers who wanted to challenge our ideas of what a synthetic human could be. I've got state-of-the-art, real-time graphics and an unprecedented level of detail in my eyes, skin and hair. Cool, right? But I'm more than just a collection of fancy pixels. I'm actually being driven by a real human actress and her dynamic motion capture through Unreal Engine.
I am a metahuman, the next generation of digital human powered by Unreal Engine. Metahumans are high fidelity digital characters created by you, the user, on our new content creation platform, Metahuman Creator. I am fully rigged, ready for animation and motion capture, allowing you to work in context. With everything running live in Unreal Engine, my motion works seamlessly on other characters. I have eight levels of detail and have been tested on a wide range of hardware platforms, from feature film to mobile. If you're interested in learning about my animation rig or high fidelity deformations, built on control rig, the new strand based hair system via the groom component, or how everything is tied together and animated in sequencer, then have a look under the hood in this project. This is just a glimpse of things to come. For instance, I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here, that it was important for me to ask people, how do we know what is real? Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves. Over 20 years ago, I first played the character Thomas Anderson in the Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneered digital cinema with shots like bullet time. Back then, we talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry where actors have tried to remain perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could become immortal. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. 20 years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We wondered, what would identity mean in a completely digital world? And what would reality mean when a world we can build feels as real as our own? So, wouldn't it be great if we could have this level of deformation complexity, but able to evaluate in real time? Well, what we are now able to do is to use machine learning to compress that simulation data into a format that can be evaluated at runtime. So you are looking at our ML character with deformations driven by full muscle, flesh, and cloth simulation from Houdini. It's running in real time and on PS5. It's taking around one-tenth of a millisecond on CPU for network inference. And as you see it here, around one millisecond on GPU for morph target evaluation. So this is a fully generalized model. We have not just trained it on the cinematic animation that we can see here. So on the left is the nearest neighbor model with just the PCA layer active. And on the right, you can see how the additional nearest neighbor set improves the fold reconstruction. So to help generate the optimal set of nearest neighbor poses, we have implemented a k-means pose generator. So given a set of target animations, so typically these would be your game or cinematic animations, and a max pose value, it will generate a set of poses that most efficiently cover that animation space. We simulated our clothing for these additional poses in Houdini, and then we trained our additional nearest neighbor set using this data. We would love for you to come and chat to us at a booth. You can get hands-on with this demo. You can change cameras, switch between mus musculus clicle, flesh, and clothing layers. You can pause the action, and you can see the deformation result both with and without a mode former running. Our guiding vision for MetaHuman has been the democratization of complex character technologies, allowing you to work faster and see the results immediately. A character is only truly believable if its motion fidelity matches its visual fidelity, but animating at this level is a hard task for even the most skilled studios. Some of our best work leveraged 4D capture, but this took specialized hardware and weeks or even months of processing time. While MetaHuman Creator gave you the ability to generate high-quality characters, Animating them still wasn't as easy. This is why I'm very excited to announce a new capability to the MetaHuman product, MetaHuman Animator. <laughs> MetaHuman Animator contains the essence of our 4D pipeline, but optimized to run on a single machine. It is able to use iPhone, as well as stereo professional systems, and today, we're going to demonstrate how it works. For this, we're going to need Mel, yep. our technician John Cook, and just the phone. <laughs> Mel, can you take your position, please? Sure. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready. OK. OK. 
Okay, and action. I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. And sometimes all I need is a look. Cut. Thanks, Mel. That was great. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Our technician, John, is currently pulling Mel's performance from the phone onto his machine where everything will be processed locally. We have updated our live link face mobile app to capture all data at the best resolution possible with the device. MetaHuman Animator uses video and depth data to convert um, uh, this data into high fidelity performance animation, and it can even use audio to produce convincing tongue animation. John is currently scrubbing through the take to pick the section that he wants to process. John, are we all good with the data? Awesome. So from now on, it's just a single button click to kick off the processing, which for a performance of this length will take less than a minute to convert into animation. So Mel, while that is processing, let me show you something else. Yeah. Oh, is that me? Yeah. This is what we refer to as your metahuman DNA. Cool. And this is generated by the capture we made earlier, right? Yeah, that's right. So from only three frames of video and depth data, we can generate a rig that predicts all of your facial expressions in just a couple of minutes. Wow. And do you only need to do this once for each actor? Yes, that's right. It calibrates the solver to your face so that we can produce the performance in, in, a, in a way that faithfully reproduces your original performance. That sounds cool. Yeah. So let's check back on the, on the processing, which today is on the latest CPU and GPU hardware from AMD. MetaHuman Animator uses a custom Epic Facial Solver and Landmark Detector. We can interactively look at the animation while it's being solved and compare it to your original performance. So it looks like it just, it's almost finished. After this, it's going to do one more pass to make the curves more stable, which is really quick. And from here on, we, can, we just need to export the animation. This takes only a few seconds. and then. John needs to drop it in the level and add the audio so that we can see the result. So Mel's MetaHuman should now be ready in the level. Mel, you excited to see the results? Yeah, can't wait to see it. <laughs> I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. And sometimes, all I need is a look. Thank you all. So, Mel, what do you think? I think it's incredible because it usually takes months between performance capture and getting any results back, so this is blowing my mind. Yeah. <laughs> and all of this is solved directly onto animator friendly controls. In this case, we are using a bespoke 4D rig, which we created together with Ninja Theory for Hellblade 2, but it's also ready to use on any MetaHuman or any other rig that follows our new MetaHuman standard. Let's have a look at that. <laughs> I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. And sometimes, all I need is a look. So the same thing works even on stylized characters. <laughs> yeah. Thank you all. These technologies are completely redefining our creative process. As they will redefine yours, when we release MetaHuman Animator to everyone in just a couple of months. We've got one more thing we'd like to show you. We haven't forgotten about the needs for full performance capture shoots. What you're about to see is animation that has not been polished or edited in any way, and it took MetaHuman Animator just minutes to process start to finish. Yeah, so here's one of my favorite lines from Ninja Theory's upcoming game, Senua Saga Hellblade 2, and I really hope you enjoy it and the rest of the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sign perf cut, take 13. <clears throat> I see through your darkness now. I see through your lies. I 
will show them how to see us, I do. I will not appease your gods. I will destroy them. Good? You like it? <laughs>